Two three one two three. How do you read? Can you read me? I hear you. Okay. Go ahead and crank it up. Yeah, I can hear you. One two three. One two three. Go ahead and crank it up, please. One two three. One two three. And please don't wait too long. Crank it up. Don't let that battery die. Go. Clear.
three, two, three, one, two. Can we straight ahead, please? One, two, three, one, two, three. Do not do anything. Just straight ahead. Just look right, left, and just go straight ahead. Now look over there to the right. What is the black square saying in it? B, Bravo. Bravo. What did she say? Bravo, right? Bravo. Or do we have to turn or are we staying on Bravo? That's down Bravo. Yeah, stay on Bravo. You don't have to look anywhere. Just look left, right, clear the runway before you cross it. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. I hate this thing. One, two, three, one. How do you hear me? Good or too loud? I hear you. It's just not the best. Okay, just sort so of the, uh, basically the quality is not there, but it's got good volume. Uh, yeah. It's, okay. It cool. Feels like it's cutting off every third word. Um, do we continue going straight? Good idea. We're going to one nine, right? Correct, straight ahead. Yeah. Okay, properties of the lock. There, these. We got some one. heat. Oh, you opened it, but it's. Ah, uh, let's see. And that's it. No, no, that's the cold one. That's the cold one. That's not the warm one. That's the heat. Okay, cool. What's this one? Uh, cabin air and cabin heat. So we don't want air, we only want heat. Ah, uh, you want the air, because the air is going to push more heat. We'll, we'll adjust it when we get up in the air, you'll see. you feel better. Want to change to the tower now? Okay, tower's up. 18.8. And let's do a quick run-up. Let's look at the checklist, make sure everything's... Where do you want to do the run-up? Right here. Just Right, departure in here. Yeah. Good. Uh, with 19B, should I, we'll do it at the whole short line? Are you thinking about flying this airplane a lot? Or just kind of because, you know, we I have the ice. So. I don't like it. You don't like it. Okay. So let's do this. Let's, sure. let's do see the air how it handles. Okay, let's see the air. Let's do a quick run up here. And what we can do here is run it up. And what I'm saying, run it up. We're going to go right in, in there. Very unclear the radio. Okay, uh, well, this is your whole trip line. Correct. What are we doing? All right, let's see. We got this. Is really bad. Making noise. Okay, let's see. What we have here is for takeoff. Park brake set. Cabin door is latch. Flight control. Green correct. Left. L1 coming up. Right door coming up. Elevator up and down. Looking good. And we have flight control check instruments. Let's make sure it's green. Green. That's good. Fuel shutoff valve is on. Should be right in here. Mixture is full rich. And trim set for takeoff, which is right there on the U line. Magneto check. Bring it up to 1700. Go two clicks to the left on the key. Two clicks to the left on the key. Two clicks. Click, click. Now two clicks to the right. Go one click to the left. One click to the right. Uh, Car ready. Looking heat. good. Can I pull the carburetor heat? Yeah, pull the carburetor heat on. Can we leave it on? Ready or set. Beacon lights on. Throw friction is adjusted. Brakes ready. All right, we good. Port takeoff check is complete. And we're ready to go. Uh, you want to switch to the tower? Tower's up. Republic Tower. Very bad with this one. It's okay. 757 Alpha Delta. Holding short runway 19 er at Bravo. We're ready for takeoff. Runway 19 er at Bravo. 19 er at Bravo. Ready for takeoff. Standard departure. Okay, so let's start. Uh, Republic Tower, I'm saying. 757 Alpha Delta. Where's the sign? Holding short to runway 19 at Bravo. That's correct. I remember. Republic Tower, Cessna 757 Alpha Delta. Holding short to runway 19 at Bravo. Standard departure. 757 Alpha Delta, Republic Tower, runway 19 clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 757 Alpha Delta. Alright, you ready? Yeah. Clear for takeoff. This will rotate at about 60 equally, it's very light, so it'll come right up. 60. Where's yep. the, I don't know. Airspeed uh, to right get all over to the left, yeah. So we have altitude, vertical speed. That's uh, right. Heading. Okay, we'll look at this, 60 knots, okay. Turning That's to the it. right here, yeah. yeah we're gonna make a
go right up here. Good take off. Uh, am I having full controls? You have, you have full controls. I'm not touching anything. It's all you. I'm just kind of keeping my feet on the pedals to see what you're doing to make sure you can. Okay. Can I apply forward? Absolutely, apply forward. Let's do it. Let's get off the brakes. That's right. And the throttle, oh, the whole shebang. That's good. That's good. But full power, yeah. That's correct. Full power. We have the uh, 60 knots. Can I rotate? Yep. About 80 is perfect. Oh, you look at speed, not at pitch? I look at speed, about 80. So I can go higher then? Yeah, pitch up, yeah. Stop. So you go by speed. Although it's wind and not real speed, it doesn't matter. Uh, there's not much wind. The wind is calm. The radio is terrible. Yeah, not that great, huh? Handle the throttle, that's okay with you, right? Yep. Getting a lot of cold air in here. Okay, let's close the cold air. How about now? Better? I don't know. Less cold air? No, it's good, it's good, it's good. No, I want the heat on. Okay, uh, this the is heat is on and the cabin air is off now. Tell me if it's warmer. It is a pretty smooth plane, relatively. Yeah, not bad, yeah. She flies nice. Flying very smooth, actually a bit better than the Cherokee. Excellent. No offense. It's okay. Uh, you decide for yourself if you want to take more flights on this. I have no issues. Yeah, the problem is this one we have to rent, so it's more expensive. Yeah, it's all the same. All right, standard departure out of runway 19. Do you remember what it is? Sorry? What is the standard departure out of runway 19? Do you remember what it is? No, I have no idea. Well, it's basically straight ahead runway 19 until you hit Sunrise Highway. When you hit Sunrise Highway, you can turn on course. Okay, where's Sunrise Highway? It's coming up. It's that train, the railroad. What altitude am I heading for? I would target about... <coughs> uh, you can do 1400, that's good. I'm already at 14. A little bit higher. Uh, what's the cruising uh, RPM that we want? Uh, I would go for about 2000. That's just perfect. Cheering for 1500. Hey, it went back up. Uh, let's go back to 1400. You're coming right up on sunrise. And let's make a left towards the capture bridge, which is those flashing red lights out there. Look, keep going left, you see those red lights. Keep going, keep going, keep going, about a heading of 120, right there. Perfect. See those red lights? Yeah. That's a good target. Okay. Okay, we're going to be discussing what class of airspace are we in right now, and what kind of visibility we need up here, and what kind of cloud clearance in case there's clouds on top of us. Okay, how do I know what uh, airspace I'm in? Basically, you look at the screen here and it should give you some kind of a clue. Uh, that blue line, I have no idea what it is. The blue line here? That's right, what's the blue line mean? Do you remember? Uh, no. The blue line is class Delta airspace. Uh, Delta, that's still from Republic Airport. That is correct. Do you remember what kind of visibility we need in class Delta? Oh, uh, actually, I don't remember, but let's try. Um, uh, we have. Wow, look at the intercoastal. It's all frozen. Unbelievable coldness. Uh, I'm getting cold just looking at it. By day, one mile. By night, three miles. Actually, you need three statue mile visibility. Oh, 
no need matter. to be 500 feet below clouds, 1,000 feet above clouds, or 2,000 distance from clouds. Side. That's correct. And it's 3,000 always, doesn't matter? What 3,000? I'm sorry, 3 miles visibility, no matter what? It's 3 mile visibility, uh, class delta, you need 3 mile visibility. Day or night, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, yeah, 3, three miles, yeah. Okay, the first maneuver I want you to do is a steep turn. Do you see that flashing that white light? Uh, white. Yeah, just to the left of the... What? It yeah. just flashed. What is that, airport? I think it's some kind of a heliport. Okay. But let's go ahead and turn the airplane towards that and maintain your altitude. And we'll do a couple of steep turns. For steep turns, the pre-maneuver check will call for mixture ridge, fuel pump. Is not applicable here. We're going to put all the lights on and clear the area. Um, and if there's no other traffic here in the vicinity, we'll do a couple of steep turns. Hey, let me know when you're ready. The trim, I think, is pretty good. The trim is beautiful. Your speed is beautiful. You're doing a wonderful job flying this airplane. 1,000 RPM, 1,400 feet. Absolutely no complaints. Going up a bit now. But it is. Uh, or actually... It's a lot to be within the hundreds, right? That's correct. Okay. When you're ready, your discretion, I want to see a steep turn to the left. 360, complete 360. Steep, steep would be uh, to the left over That's there. It's the same exact as in the Cherokee, 45 degrees. Left turn or right? Left turn first, right turn second. Left turn first, back to the thingy bob. Ready, That's set, right, let's go.
and you're currently at 1,500 feet, so you got no issues with that. So what I would do is actually turn left and see the lights on the shoreline and maintain those lights on the shoreline. to do one more steep turn to the right because on the first one you lost too much altitude and you terminated the maneuver and I think you felt how bad the maneuver is going that's why you decided to terminate it. It was pretty bad. Yeah, it kind of shaky. Okay, do it again. Back in. Gonna be giving it full power, right? Yep. You advance the power when you're going through 30 degrees. Do I advance it before or after I start to as, as you're going through 30 degrees, you're going to roll into a 45 degrees bank. And once passing 30, passing I push 30, and roll. Passing 30, you advance power because you're losing your vertical component of lift and that's why you're losing some speed and you're turning. Are we ready? Are we clear on all sides? You look very serious. Okay, we're going to go right light on. and clear right. This when you're ready, we can do it. What? That light is on a purpose? Uh, the light is not on a purpose, but if you want to shut it off, we'll okay. probably be able to shut it off. Let me see. It's okay, it's okay. I'm just using... Uh, wh what heading am I turning back to if I'm not looking at uh, Shoreline. We started on the shoreline. We're going to go back on the shoreline. Okay. I can't do the right turn. You you can do the right turn, you just got to keep an eye on that dot and put it right on the horizon. I can't see anything. Okay, let's roll the wings into a turn to the right, just like so. Look at that dot. You see the dot on the attitude indicator? Yeah. Where is that dot right now? 20 degrees, way too high. No, but where is it? What do you mean, where is it? The dot. Where is the dot? This one or this one? The dot, the dot, the, the, the dot that is one. the nose of the airplane right there. No, there's a dot, there's wings. Yeah, it's above the horizon, okay. And, and between the wings, there's a little yellow dot, you see it? Where is it? Yeah, it's... A, a little bit above the horizon, 10 right? 10 degrees, 10 degrees above. About 10 degrees above, so that's what we need in order to maintain our altitude. We gotta put that dot a little bit above the horizon. And we can just keep turning, steep turn all night long and maintain it like there. You see? Not how much, much how much rudder are you using? Uh just a tiny bit, not much. Using more the the wings. Yeah, just as necessary to maintain the ball center. Crazy. Yeah, as soon it. as I couldn't see out of the window I lost you it. Just lost the altitude, yeah. You ready? I want you to take over. You ready? This, this bothers me too. This bothers you too. Okay, maybe I gotta put a tape on it. Hold on. You okay, got the controls? Okay. Uh no. Okay, you don't have the controls, so take the controls. This is bad. Too much fun. Bad, bad news. Bad at this. I have just put a tape on that so it doesn't bother you anymore. Alright, next maneuver we're gonna do is basically slow flight. Okay, you gotta lower the nose please. Back to 1400. Before Why, that's, we the, that's the minimum? We're coming up on ice slip. And that's their number? Yeah, you don't want to, you know what, let me talk to them. Well, as a matter of fact, you talk to them. What should I tell them? New York approach, Cessna 757 Alpha Delta with request. 757 Alpha Delta, go ahead, what's your request? 757 Alpha Delta is 10 miles to the southwest of Long Island Airport. Would like to maneuver up here along the shoreline, 1,500 feet. Can I hear you saying it right what? You call it in. You want me to call? Yeah. Clear approach, uh, good evening, 757 Alpha Delta with request. Number 757 Alpha Delta, New York, good evening. Yes, sir, good evening, uh, 10 miles to southwest of Iceland, 1500 along the shoreline. We'd like to get to about the FR advisories. We're going to be maneuvering up here in the uh, South Bank area. Number 757 Alpha Delta, squawk 4367. Squawk 4367. What does that mean, squawk? Four, three, six. Oh, you did two. Four, three, six. Seven, 
is uh, 7 Alpha Delta Radar Contact, Altimeter is 2971. Okay, are you ready? Now he's going to watch us. He's going to tell us traffic and we can do whatever How we do you know we're at the, uh, this is the right thing? What is the right thing? Yeah, just, I just put 2971 on the Altimeter oh, setting oh, here. Yeah, oh. Just 2971 on the one hour 13. Okay, <coughs> now we can go back to 1500 and let's do some slow... Are you... Are you in the game, or are we just kind of, maybe, you know, kind of, maybe find a better game. day? The problem is I can't see anything. Okay, let's turn around so we can see better. Right, you know what? Visual switch, one way, two, zero, left, down, entry. You see the red light over there along the shoreline? Yeah. A little bit to the right? That's a good target. Let's fly to that red light at 1,500. 1,500? That's right. And the next maneuver we're going to do is slow flight.
turns around a point if you want. What do you mean? Turns around a point. Turns around a point is a ground reference maneuver where the airplane is maintaining a precise ground track with a specific distance from a point. You see that antenna below us? Yeah, let's go back the opposite direction. Left or right? Your choice. Opposite direction is always your choice. If I say make a right turn, 180, that, that means you're going to make a right turn. But if I say reverse course, it's your choice. You don't have to do either or. See that red light? If you keep turning, you'll see a red light off your right-hand side. Yeah, I got it. Right there, you see that red antenna? That one or that one? That red antenna right there to your right, about 2 o'clock position. Yeah, I see it. Let's attempt to do a circle around it. Maintain oh. about half a mile and do a complete 360 around that point. I can't see it though. So maintain a little bit, maintain a little bit more distance and keep it to your left. Can't see it. No, keep it to your left. You don't want to do it right. You're sitting on the left. You don't want to turn around the right because it's going to be harder for you to see it. You want to keep that point off to your left hand side. Okay, so I'll do a flip. That's correct. Make a left turn until you see the point on your left hand side. Exactly, it turns around a point, that's what it's all about. 